making cars moves us. What moves you? 559 children have died after being trapped inside a parked car since 1998, according to a study conducted by San Francisco State University's Department of Geosciences. More than half these cases, the study notes, were caused by a parent or caretaker forgetting about a child in the back seat. This kind of forgetfulness, local psychiatrist Dr. Laura Post says, is not unheard of. What causes it? Well, a number of things, but Dr. Post notes it usually involves stress, distraction, drugs or alcohol, or an illness. When people do things regularly and they do the same things every day, it goes into kind of an autopilot mode. Oftentimes, when a person's routine becomes disrupted, a person can forget a simple task or errand, like stopping by the grocery store to get some milk or dropping off the laundry at the cleaners. Another distraction, which happens often here on Guam, is the, the route you drive every day, you come home one day, and all of a sudden it's blocked off because there's road construction. The visual cues of your normal route aren't there. Although forgetting to drop the laundry off or leaving keys locked in the car is quite common, Post emphasizes that leaving a child is an entirely different story. Now, the difference between leaving the laundry in the back of the car and leaving the baby in the back of the car is that most people, when there is an errand that's particularly important, usually people have their adrenaline going through them just having just dr driving with a child in the car you know you drive more carefully when the child's in the car you're much more defensive with a child in the car think of your brain like a computer your long-term memory is your hard drive and your working memory like dropping off your baby to the sitters is your ram now imagine there was a power outage that caused your computer to shut down temporarily when the power comes back on, what you were working on, if it has not been saved in your hard drive, has been wiped out in your RAM. That power outage, Post explains, is like a major disruption in your routine, like witnessing a tragic accident or receiving bad news or undergoing stress from relationship troubles. She emphasizes, however, that a trivial distraction, like stopping by the gas station before dropping off baby, is not usually something that could throw off one's routine, unless... Just going to the gas station alone, out of order, probably wouldn't jar the working memory that much. But someone with a high level of background stress, yeah, something that small could. While not all circumstances are known about the tragic death of two-year-old Amanda on Wednesday when police say her father, court probation officer Anthony Marcilla, forgot to drop her off to daycare and left her trapped in the back seat while he went to work, Post emphasizes that it's important for everyone to understand that not everyone is immune to forgetfulness, even if it involves their own child. Someone would have to be very stressed and distracted to leave a child in a car. But I don't know the circumstances. I just know that the outcome was, was terrible. But I do think that under the right pressures and in the right situation, Virtually any adult could do a similar thing. If you tend to be forgetful or if you have particularly long drives, Post says there are a number of ways you can remind yourself of an important task, like dropping your child off to daycare. For example, she says, wear something uncomfortable. They could wear something that's a little bit uncomfortable, like a rubber band on their wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, not so tight that it cuts off all the circulation, but enough that they're aware of it. Mm -hmm. And then when they drop the baby off, they take the rubber band off their wrist. Mm -hmm.